Okay, uh, here's some pickups I made from an appointment. Um, uh, everything here represents um, about $162 in spendings by me. I got this over two uh, days, actually. Um, this stuff here I got yesterday at a flea market, and this I got today from an appointment. And, um, you know, let me just do the jewelry first, get that out of the way. I got a bag full of junk jewelry. Um, just, I'll show you this stuff. Nothing here is of any considerable value. Here's some, like, military pins. Um, stuff like, uh, what is this, a Pegasus pin, um, cheap earrings, the, these, I don't even, these are probably dyed turquoise stones. Like, everything here is stuff that we will sell in, I'm going to sell, uh, a rose ring. Here's an angel pin. Uh, this is stuff we're going to sell in the $1 to, this is probably the nicest piece here, and maybe, it's not signed, uh, it does have some age, but it's being as it's not signed, and there's, it's an Aurora Borealis, and there's where are the stones, I can't get much for this, maybe $10 or so. Um, things like this, um, Tiger's Eye, it's pretty, but, you know, there's a million, million things like that at the flea market, and here's another pen. Anyway, uh, stuff like this, I don't even want to spend too much time on it. Um, like, see, here's a nice pen, but it's, it's a nothing, it's signed by JJ. JJ pens are no big deal. Um, there's a watch band. Uh, anyway, um, everything here is $5 or less, uh, mostly in the $3 or $4 or $2 or $1 range. Um, but fortunately, we only pay $20 for all this stuff. So over time, as these things sell, here's like half a locket. As this stuff sells, um, little record. As this stuff sells, I'll make money. Um, there's got to be, over time as I sell it, at least a hundred to two hundred dollars worth of just junk jewelry here. So, um, get, getting past that, this. Um, I also got a perfume. I got a Cristal uh, Chanel. It's one fluid ounce. I think I can get thirty to forty dollars for this on eBay. I paid ten um, because I bought it off someone who bought it for me. He paid five. I paid ten. Um, all right, this is these are the games I got yesterday. Um, here, let me get out of this. I got an a Nintendo 64. If you see, it was 50 for all. Um, but this is a dealer friend of mine, and he was selling it for 50. And a friend of mine said, "Hey, you, he's selling a, a Nintendo 64 with a bunch of games for 50." So I said, "All right, I'll go look. You know, because maybe some of the games are good. None of the games were good. I'll go through them in a second." Um, but he said, "Oh, you know, I didn't even think about you." Yeah, look, there's some kind of wet stuff in there, so I might have to get this clean. Um, he said, oh, I didn't even think of you. You know, I should have called you over. And then he told me he doesn't know if it worked. He didn't try it out, which means he, maybe he tried it and it doesn't work. But he said he'd give it to me for 25 So I said, all right, I'll take a chance for $25. Um, there is enough games in here to make my money back. And there it is. Uh, it comes with a Super Pad uh, 64 controller, which is gross looking. Um, and these rumble packs, which are, I, I hate rumble packs, they're annoying. And uh, this controller looks pretty good. Uh, it didn't have the red expansion, but so if, if this is working, it's complete. I'll get $30 for it with a game at the flea markets I go to. Uh, here are the games that came. Star Wars Episode One Racer, that is a common game. I sell it for like 4 bucks. Wave Racer, that's a, a 3 $4 game for me. F1 World Grand Prix, pretty sure it's a... Uh, three or four dollar game chopper attack not sure on that one but it's probably a common game hot wheels turbo racing probably a common game star fox 64 um maybe i can get 10 for this one maybe more i'm not i'm not i haven't had this game in a long time so i don't remember and battle tanks global assault is probably uh, a common game um bought this two dollars uh simpsons hit and run this is like a ten dollar to twelve dollar game on um, Amazon or eBay, and I know because I just had, well, yeah, hit and run, I just had it. So I think I could probably get eight, eight dollars at the flea market. Uh, these are some other games I got. These are empty cases, but there's, it's good because I can use the cases for other games. Uh, like this is empty, and I'm sure I'll come across that game uh, empty eventually. Uh, I got a Far Cry, and of course it's empty, and this. So these are just empty stuff. Um, well, the games I got, I normally pay five, and I sell them for between six and ten sometimes. Uh, and these all need to be polished. Uh, I got a Halo 4 Disc 1. Well, this one's pretty clean. Um, let's see. Anyway. Um, then I got a Madden 11. 
I got a Nintendo Dogs. Uh, I got a Crackdown. I got a Dead Rising. All these Xbox 360. I got a Lost Planet, Extreme Condition. I got a Marvel Superhero Squad for the Wii. Outdoor Challenge for the Wii. Star Wars Complete Saga. Kung Fu Panda. Cooking Mama World Kitchen. Um, this was an interesting game, but I don't know if it's gone up in value. It's Oddworld, Munch's Odyssey, Xbox. I can check this out. It needs to be polished anyway. But I got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. That's a common game. And a Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets for Xbox. Common game. Um, they sell at the flea markets for 3 or $4. Um, these discs, these were the only discs that were in good shape. That I, Oh, I got a 300. That's that's my DVD I got today. Paid a dollar for that. And then I got a Sonic and the Black Knight. This disc is in good condition. I don't have to polish it. Um, I got a nice looking red and silver uh, DS. Of course, it doesn't have the charger. It doesn't have the thing that goes in here. It has the wand, which is good. Uh, I paid 15 for it, and I will probably sell it for 30 maybe 35 um, with a game. Um, the only problem is I don't know if it works. Yeah, it didn't have a charger, so i got to find a charger. And I probably should only pay 10 for this, but oh, whatever. You know, they're not even that easy to sell. But fortunately, they play the Game Boy Advances, and people need them. All right, uh, moving on. And uh, I also got these games for a buck a piece, but these are kind of Rugrats, Scavenger Hunt. That's a that's not a desirable game, so it's a common. XG2 with Josh's Garan's writing on it. Oh, Josh Josh Garan again. Okay, Josh Garan liked to write on his games. People apparently were stealing them. Um, and another Hot Wheels. He liked racing games. And I got a Hey You Pikachu, which, I, you know, I don't know if it's sellable without a microphone. It's, it's not a popular game. Um, these I paid a dollar for. I will probably uh, sell them in the 3 or $4 range. Uh, I got a Sega Game Gear, and, um, you know, it's in beautiful condition. It's really clean. Well, first of all, I got the, the case for it, and the case is nice, right? Uh, the, whoever had this really took care of this stuff. And it's in really clean and pretty condition, you know, uh, very nice. Uh, looks beautiful, but I tried it out. Guess what? It doesn't work. So, so that's that. And I was able to try it out. Um, well, well, let me just say I pay twenty for everything, you know, uh, because these aren't even easy to sell. They're hard to sell, and and when you buy them, be careful when you buy them because there's always something wrong with them. There's something's wrong with the sound or the video or both or whatever. But anyway, getting past that. It's, it's like beautiful condition. It's really clean. If it can be fixed, somebody would like to have it for the collection. They came with this plug, which I can use for a Sega 2, um, like a Sega Jenny 2. And it came with the larger. I don't care about that. And it came with these games. And again, um, these games are, um, for me, unsellable at the flea market. So I will probably make a lot of them and sell them that way. And, and here are the games anyway. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, um, The Adventures of Batman and Robin, uh, X-Men, uh, what is it, I'm not even taking them out of the case, uh, Side Pocket, a pool billiards game, I, I, I don't even know if any of these games have uh, much value on eBay anymore, so I'm probably going to lot them, uh, Streets of Rage, uh, Mighty, another Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, Virtua Fighter animation, I know that's not a valuable game usually, anything wrestling is never valuable, WWF Raw, um, Sonic 2, this is the most comic, common game behind Sonic 1 and 3 for the Sega system, so that has, like, no value, even though it is desirable. Um, I'm going to look at that one a second. Pac-Man, another common, and Batman Forever, super, super common game. Uh, this game I'm not familiar with, so let me just try and... I'm doing this with one hand. Uh, Shikan. Nice graphics, whatever. A game like this, maybe it's worth a little bit more than the others. Um, and, and like I said, I only paid $20, so who cares. Uh, anyway, that covers everything that I got today. And yesterday.